Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. It's time for your evening weather and trail update. Brought to you as always by Geppettos. They bring you this weather. They're located in Village West. The place to be any time, day or night. Well, for the day on Saturday, looks like we'll start things off with some partly sunny skies. We'll see the clouds roll in. And then tomorrow evening, uh, we should see some snow start. Could see anywhere from 4 to 6 inches of snow overnight before things turn over to, to some mixed precip. Uh, tomorrow, your temperature is quite similar to today. And we should see that uh, the wind die down as well uh, throughout the morning tomorrow morning. So stay tuned to the Mountain Report, 7.30 to 9 a.m., and we'll keep you updated on what's going on out on the hill. Sunday, we'll see a chance of a few mixed precip showers out there uh, first thing in the morning. But Sunday should be a great morning out there with that fresh snow. Temperatures warming up uh, throughout the day on Sunday and then uh, cooling back down throughout Sunday night into Monday. As you can see, a high of uh, only zero degrees uh, down here around the base on Monday and then things warm up just a bit for the rest of the week. Birchwood Interiors, they bring you this trail report. They're located in Village West and online at birchwoodinteriors.com. 99 trails of ski and ride on, 14 lifts getting into those runs, and 65 trails are on the groomers list for tonight. We're still looking at some loose granular over frozen granular surfaces out on the hill. Comp Hill, Crib Works, Cruiser, and Lower Scoot are getting snow making overnight tonight. Uh, so be aware of that. They should be going as well first thing in the morning. Um, and also want to let you know, grooming. Groomers will be hard at work as usual tonight out on trails like Timberline, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner. They'll groom out Skidder, uh, Lower Comp Hill, Narrow Gauge, Spillway and Sluice, as well as Gandhi Line, Candy Side, Boardwalk, Landing, The Birches, and Snowbrook all down around the base areas. So look for some great conditions. Get out there early for some great corduroy out on the hill. The east side of the mountain, they'll get Ripsaw, which they don't usually do, so you may want to check that out. Hallback as well, Widowmaker and Flume, some great expert terrain. Uh, they'll get Wiffle Tree and Buckboard. Buckboard's a great old school New England trail uh, with the narrow trails, and they're going to get everything over on the west side of the mountain uh, below Bullwinkles as well. Snubber, that'll get you up to the base lodge at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Sawduster and Skidway get you going around the base area at 8.30. Double Runner East and West get going at 8.30 as well. They get you a little higher on the hill for some nice groomed out runs down Boardwalk and Lower Winter's Way. And they also get you to the base of the Skyline Lift, which gets you up to Spillway Crosscut. That's scheduled to run at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Timberline at 9 a.m. and West Mountain at 8 a.m. 8.30 over on the east side, you'll find Wiffle Tree and King Pine spinning. Wiffle Tree is a great intermediate area, and King Pine has got some great expert terrain. Check out Ripsaw and Hallback, as well as Widowmaker and Flume. 50, kil 50 kilometers open for skate style and classic skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Skating on the pond out front is great. They've got rentals for everything down there, cross-country skis, snowshoes, and ice skates, so take advantage of that. And the Arnold Trail Snowmobile Club wants to let you know that about 90% of their trails are open. Most of it is in really good shape, uh, so get out there on your snowmobile. Just be aware of some early season conditions out there and some early season riding. WSKITV.com, we're your guide to the main High Peaks region. We've got this latest local forecast, our live quad cam shot, and we also stream our live shows online. So click on the link at WSKITV.com.